Hey guys, what is going on? This is Chronobird5. Today I kind of want to do a video and talk about the new season. I haven't even opened my World Series pack yet, so we'll see what we'll get out of there. Uh, also go ahead and open up a 10-pack bundle. I do want to try out that new Molina. Uh, I'm kind of in between on whether or not I actually want him or not. I mean, I would try him if I had him. Um, but yeah, well, I guess we'll just see. And before we get started, I have one uh, new player I want to add to the team, so I'm going to go and show you guys that. Since we got Mike Trout, I figured we might as well lock him in and do this team epic and you guys know what that means we get Nolan Ryan so I went ahead and did this team epic I think um, this might be the best Nolan Ryan I think he has the best stuff but I think the control is the hardest part about this so I decided to lock Mike, Mike Trout in I don't mean I don't want to sell him I know his price has gone up I'm just gonna go ahead and lock him in uh, probably not worth it honestly but you know I have a lot of stubs to waste so why not uh, and now let's go ahead and open up the packs. So we did get a 10 pack bundle. <clears throat> Alright. And we'll open up our World Series one last. So we'll see what we get out. We'll probably get Keiko again. I got Keiko last time. Probably the worst thing you can possibly get. So Benoit is our topper. Alright. Doubt we get anything, but you never know. Yep, yeah, nothing there. So let me know what you guys think of this new season and the rewards. We'll go over that too as well. I haven't played a game yet. Um, and let me know if you guys are playing this event right now. I just I, I, I like the events, but I just can't keep up doing you know, 40 wins like every 5 to 6 days. Especially when I work 4 out of those 6 days or whatever. So it's kind of tough to manage. A bunch of commons as usual. It's going to be the show 17. Let's see. We're getting some equipment... So at least we're getting something, but that doesn't sell for anything, really. Oh, yeah, and I should probably do a video and go over the roster update. I haven't even done that yet, either. I've been working. I forgot to do that. Roster update wasn't too bad. We got a silver there. Not too bad. <clears throat> this is why I don't really open packs too much. Diamond equipment. I don't, I don't know how much that goes for, but at least... We'll get some of our stuffs back. The way I look at packs is at least I'm getting some players I can feed or exchange or whatever, you know. They do give you a lot of players in the packs. A lot of gold equipment and diamond equipment. Nothing too good, though, player-wise. Alright, no Molina. Not surprised. Alright, and our World Series reward. Probably going to be let down, but let's see. Okay, um, I don't even know how much this stuff sells for. And yep, we get a shitty diamond. So as usual, I'll probably sell this Cabrera right away. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and yeah, let's go over the season rewards. I forgot to do that. I feel like the higher you, the higher you, um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like if you rank higher, let's see where we're at a lot of time. Fourteenth lifetime, and I haven't. I hit really bad last season, so hopefully I can turn that around this season. Didn't play too many games, though. But anyways, let's talk about this new season coming up. Uh, season Stripes. So let's view the rewards. <clears throat> Alright, so in the wild card, you can get a breakout Sean Green. Uh, you know, if you finish there. If you drop out, you still get the reward, of course. Division Series, we're going to 92 Rod Curry. We'll look at all these cards here in a minute. And we'll look at that Molina. Uh, CS... Uh, you get all those cards previously mentioned in a 99 Eric Gagne, which um, looks like an awesome card, honestly. Uh, and, and then you get a 99 Connor if you make the World Series. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and look at those cards. We'll look at the Molina. I, there's probably a lot of other stuff to go over. I can't think right now, though. So let's go ahead and look at them. Uh, starting with the Sean Green. All right, so here's the Sean Green. Not a bad reward. For, uh, I don't even remember what division it was, but what for not having to get very high, this is a decent reward. Obviously, you're probably going to have to platoon him a little bit. Uh, I'm still trying to get the other Sean Green. I'm like a couple of runs away. I just haven't been playing much BR. So there he is. <laughs> now, this is Rod Carew. This is an interesting card. Um, if you put this card at second base, I can almost guarantee it's going to be close to a 99. I don't know. But they have him at first base. And he has maxed out contact with 96 vision. He has a little bit of pop for his so this card is going to have a 
pretty substantial size PCI, uh, even against lefties. The fielding's not that great, so, I mean, at first base, whatever, but at second base, you know, you might not want to play him there. I don't know, you should still probably get the job done. He's got a little speed as well, so that's a pretty decent reward, actually. Uh, you know, 99.73, you know, I could definitely live with that versus righties. I probably personally won't use the card. It'll probably sell for very cheap, so if you can't make it that high, that'll be a good card for you guys to get. Let's go over to Gagne now. Now, this is the year he was incredible. I, I believe he won the Cy Young. I can't even remember. Obviously, he won something with the hardware, but I remember watching him in 2003. I mean, it was just, he was so dirty. Uh, obviously, you know, he was juicing or... At least that was the uh, what everybody was thinking. But anyways, this card's a little bit different from the Breakout. I, I currently have the Breakout. It's kind of annoying um, that they just released a new Gagne, but uh, it is what it is. So this one throws a little harder, and he has completely maxed out per nines. And he also has a Vulcan Change and a Splitter. Now this Gagne just has the four pitches. Um, so the Vulcan Change and the Splitter are a little bit different. Splitter is just going to break straight down the Vulcan change is going to have a little bit of a sideways break to it the curveball is still going to be really slow and his slider is pretty decent as well uh, but yeah this one's going to throw a little harder so I think this is going to be a very very usable card um, honestly probably going to be one of the best righties in my opinion I don't know if he'll be better than those nasty sinker ballers like you know Iglesias or whatever but uh, he'll definitely be up there so I'm excited to see that card the problem is everyone's going to have him and it's going to completely devalue this Eric Gagne who I should probably sell but I actually want to use a little bit this season but I don't know. I mean, I've been looking forward to using them a lot, so it kind of sucks they're doing that, but it is what it is. And then finally, look at Kiner. He's a left fielder. Now, this is actually a very good card as well. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's almost like Ted Williams, uh, except he's a righty. So, very solid card. The fielding, obviously, is not the greatest. Um, I would... You know what? It's probably just going to depend on how much this card is selling for. I'm probably going to sell this card or put it on my bench. But, uh... I don't know, man. That's that's a really good hitting card. I bet a lot of people will be using this in the Gagne. Pretty decent rewards. And finally, let's go over that Molina. I want to talk a little bit about him. I think he's the highest rated catcher right now. So his price is going down a little bit. Maybe if I can get my hands on one, um, if his price comes down a little bit, we'll see. So this card looks like it's a little bit better than last year. I, I think last year it was a 97 or 96 overall. 2012, I think last year's was a 2012 too. So that was the year he had, I think, 22 home runs. It was his highest war year. Um, so that, you know, arguably was his best season. Here's my problem with catchers, and I want to do a video and test this, is does defense matter for catchers? Without actually testing it, I really could care less what people tell me. Um, because, yeah, without really testing it, you just don't have anything to back it up with. Um, and I know in the past, catching defense has not meant anything. Like in MLB, uh, a couple of years ago, yeah, like throwing strength, or arm strength for catchers did not do anything when they were trying to still run her. So we'll actually see how he plays. I want to test some catcher defense and all that. As far as hitting goes, it's like that's very good versus righties, especially if this was last year. I would take that in a heartbeat. Um, the problem with this year is like since the new patch, I shouldn't call it a new patch anymore. I guess it's like a month old. But the 60 power, it's going to be hard to have a consistent bat with him. Versus lefties, I mean, he demolishes lefties and has good plate vision. So I don't know. Um, I'd definitely give the card a try. I wouldn't recommend playing him at first. You could, I guess. Uh, 31 speed too is actually uh, I'm actually you know that's not too bad in my opinion because I'm I'm used to Posada with that 11 speed and that Victor Martinez with 18 speed so 31 speed I can I can deal with that I mean a lot of first basemen are around that so and I can deal with that you know obviously catchers aren't gonna be fast but uh, yeah, I just wish his power was a little higher but I mean that's just unrealistic he you know he obviously hit for power against lefties more so than he did against righties. So anyways, uh, that's going to do it for the video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is Carnalbert5 signing out. Peace.